to everlasting. You know what? Sometimes I say I'm on 10, but I don't need I don't know if that's a good number to use anymore because it goes well beyond that. I want to say welcome, welcome, and welcome. Welcome to the GMAP Broadcast Network, yours truly. Uh, Pastor Kevin, I am always excited, overwhelmed with joy when I have the opportunity to sit back, relax, and have a special guest join us in the studio here on today. And tonight is no different. Lenora Hightower is here with us on today. We are going to get ourselves ready to just enjoy what it is that we have set for you, those viewers and listeners worldwide. We are in over 168 countries, coming off of our fifth straight Stellar Award nomination, and we're excited to have Lenora here with us all tonight. You know what? I'm not going to give myself any justice. I want you to come on and introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Tell us where you're from. Wow. Well, first, let me just say that this is my pleasure to be here with you at this broadcasting moment in the history of this connection that God put together. I praise God for it. I don't take it lightly. People don't have to be nice and kind. Uh, but I will tell you, I'm Lenora Hightower. And I've been doing this for over 30 years. Wow. Singing praises to God. I am a musician. I uh, started taking piano lessons when I was seven years old. Wow. Started playing for the church when I was nine years old. And that led to directing choirs and singing solos and all of that. Now, um, where I am now, I would say within the last 10 to 15 years, you know, that's progressed into uh, being a praise and worship leader and then god has also uh pushed me out there uh into the the pulpit <laughs> as oh, wow. well so so he's given me you know preaching singing prophetic you know ministry writing songs i mean it's like god you know you really think i can handle all this well apparently he's trusting me to do so so it's indeed an honor to be a part of the kingdom for such a time as this and actually being able to use all of those gifts and callings for the glory of God. And so it's, it's, it's my love. I cannot live without music. Music, I would say, is, is that first thing that just kind of has kept me uh, close, really close, through my worship um, to the Lord. And it's just kind of kept my, my feet glued uh, in the kingdom. And I just love what I do, and I love you know, singing life into earthen vessels. That's that's kind of my focus in this thing is, is Lord used me to be a mouthpiece yeah. to uh, sing, preach, teach, whatever it is, whichever method he wants to use for me to be that mouthpiece for him. That is exactly what I want to do. So um, it's just an honor. It's an honor to be used by God. Hey, Amen. Well, you know, I, I always tell people, how do you know you've been called? And it's an interesting concept that I've always rendered. You know you've been called when you begin to be the call. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we go through our trying times, Lenore, our, our battles, our, our trials and tribulations. And people will look, sit back and say, well, you know, I don't really know if I've been called to do this. You just said you've been doing this for over 30 years. I know for a fact you have been called. Why? Because you have began to be that call. I want to know how it all started. I mean, was there something in your life that, that took place that allowed you to realize that this is something that you must do for God's people around the world? You know, I actually started out as an R&B singer. Mm -hmm. um, I was a part of a group called Etc. back in the, the 90s uh, when I was a teenager. And I, there were two other young ladies with me and we did, you know, some uh, traveling together and we went on, went to live on the East Coast for a little bit pursuing this career. And I realized something, I believe, when I was around maybe 19 years old that, you know, I could really do this as a lifestyle. Mm. 
And but at that time, you know, it was secular audiences, it was secular music, it was, you know, and everything that goes along with that. And I had come back home from from uh, from Jersey back to Texas and just a difference started to happen, you know, and I started, you know, praying more and talking to God more. And then guess what? He started talking back to me. Mm. <laughs> he wow. said, yeah, I've given you this gift, you know, and for you, this gift has to be for the kingdom of God. Uh huh. And so that made me lay everything down and say, well, Lord, if you want me to do this for you, you're going to have to pave the way. You're going to have to show me. You're going to have to connect the dots. And so I walked away from uh, the group that I was singing with. I walked away from the secular projects that I was working on. And I said, okay, God, I surrender. And this is what I'm going to do. And so that's kind of where my, my calling came into play. And I, it was through prayer and learning how to hear the voice of God and having him speak to me and then being humble enough to say, Lord, I hear you and I'm going to answer. And so that was um, that was my plight. And, and from then on, as I, you know, counsel people and as I minister to other people who are trying to find purpose, mm. you have to start with prayer. That's right. That's right. Because God has to show it to you. He has to reveal it to you. You've got to learn how to get quiet. Mm. You've got to learn how to communicate with the creator. This is the person that created us, right? Mm. So who else would know what we're supposed to be doing but him? That's right. And wow. so we have to learn how to talk to the one who created us in order to get what our assignment is. That's right. On this place called Earth. So. Wow. Well, you know, I'm just, you know, I am just overly excited. There has been so much going on within the last few days. And, you know, people are reaching out. People are responding, of course. Uh, we want to say a uh, good evening to our friends uh, up at 1390 in Chicago who are sitting back, paying attention, listening to your story, your testimony. And I'm excited to have them on board. And of course, I want to send a shout out to my friends up at uh, WGLB Radio in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, who have made a decision to add your singles to uh, rotation. To God be the glory for that as well. Now, you know, I got to talk, I got to rewind the tape and talk about this particular song because mm. it got my attention instantly. Mm. And of course, praise is an action word. I would like for you to share just a little bit about how that particular song came about. Well, by career, I'm a school teacher. Mm. And so, you know, I teach those parts of speech, those verbs and nouns and all those things. Mm. And as I stated earlier, I'm also a praise and worship leader. So what God uh, does a great job of is merging, you know, who I am as a teacher and who I am as a minister together. And so as a praise and worship leader, um, I find that a lot of mistakes that praise and worship leaders make is getting up in front of the audience and beating up the crowd mm. for not praising the way they think they ought to pray. Mm -hmm. So I said, God, give me another method to encourage people to praise you and not beat them up and say things like, well, y'all are sitting there acting like God hasn't done anything for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? That's right. And so out of that comes these lyrics. Praise is an action word. I looked it up. Praise is a verb. Mm. Anytime something is a verb, you've got to do action. So the, the mm. lyrics say, I know you're thinking you've got it all together while you sit quietly and praise them in your heart. But I've learned differently and I want to share it with you. That's so right. I wanted this song to encourage people to clap their hands and, you know, just take a chance. Take a chance on praising God. If mm. you do it once, You'll never be the same. That's right. That's right. If you do it once, you can do it twice. You can do it three times and so on, right? So that's where that came from. Praise is an actual word. Listen, you've got to do something when you praise it. Mm. Now, your praise may not look like my praise, but you got to do something. That's right. I mean, tap your toe or something. You got to, <laughs> you know. Wow. You got to put forth some type of effort. To praise God. That's right. And understand that it that it is unto the Lord. Who cares if it looks crazy? Yeah. You know, who, who, who cares what people's opinions are about your praise? Just do something. 
Wow. And so that's where that song came. I just wanted to encourage people, whatever you do, wherever you go, when it comes to praising God, you've got to do something about it. That's right. Well, you know, I, and, and we as, as pastors and preachers, we get up. And one of the things I've learned over the years is many of us always say, let's give God some praise. Mm -hmm. And every time we say that, people begin, begin to clap their hands, mm -hmm. stump their feet, shout, hallelujah. It is an action word. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. You know what? I'm... You are just blow oh my good you know and I, I would have never looked at it that way until until I grabbed a hold of this particular song. Mm -hmm. And and you said praise is an action word. Wow. You know what? Yeah. I just cannot wait to play this single again for the people around the world. Now awesome. I'm gonna ask you this. Mm -hmm. I know that there are many people out there that may be sitting back, relaxing, and saying, you know, I really appreciate what Lenora has done over the years. I really, I really have been able to receive the blessings of the Lord through her ministry. But what's next for Lenora Hightower? What would your response be? Wow, what's next? I'm telling you, God is pushing me beyond borders. Mm. Um, books there are a couple of books in me that i'm going to be writing there's new music in me mm. that i'm going to be writing um i also work with autistic students and so uh, god has pushed me into a place of more study where i am uh, involved in behavior analysis right now i'm actually about to uh, take my licensing exam to become a registered behavior technician mm. where I can help uh, autistic, uh, the autistic community, um, you know, change some behaviors that may be a bit um, unfavorable to behaviors that are favorable. So I'm very excited about that part of my journey as well. Um, I look at those things and I'm like, Lord, I never thought I would be here doing this. Um, even out of that, I know that there's uh, more, um, international um, callings coming, you know, phone calls coming, shall I say. Um, again, you know, taking me beyond the borders of Texas, beyond the borders of the United States, um, to just go out and get the good news out by any means necessary. So more travel uh, is coming. I know that is something that the Lord has been um, talking to me about. Um, but it's just, it's, it's exciting from one moment to the next, we don't know what's going to happen. From one moment, I was sitting at home minding my own business, mm -hmm. and then I got a phone call from Pastor Kevin. Oh, my so goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, she didn't blame me, y'all. Oh, my goodness. So wow. from one moment to the next, I'm telling you, you just don't know what's going to happen, and God will use who he wills when he says it's time to bless you and so I'm thankful for for this opportunity I'm looking forward to uh, my music being heard by people who have never heard before and looking forward to the testimonies that'll come from people hearing those songs and so wow it's, it's I'm telling you it's great you know fantastically I'm just, amazing yeah that's that's the word I'm waiting for I, Fantastically amazing. Now, but I tell you, not only you could have gave me that one. Wow. Well, you know, I'm just, like I said, I am just overly excited to have you here uh, on the GMAP Broadcast Network. Thank you so much uh, for taking time out of your busy schedule um, to be here with us on tonight. And, of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, I'm I'm messing around with my, my software here to make sure I get everything uh, uh, perfectly lined up and of course we have Lenora here with us tonight and of course if you don't know now you know she is definitely a part of the GMAP broadcast network music, music ministries platform you can stop by GMAP broadcast network GMAP1.com that's GMAP the number one dot com and of course visit our music ministries area and, of course, you will have a blessed opportunity to click on 
her cover, which is placed, of course, uh, placed in the necessary location. You'll see it. You can click on it. It'll take you to where you need to go to get all of the intimate information that you need to receive in order to find out a little bit more about Lenora Hightower. Now, now that we've gotten past that and now that I've gotten this all figured out here on my end, thank you once again so much for being here. Lenora, I want to ask you this. If I were to place you in what I call my megatorium, that's that's my own word, so you know you can you can borrow that if you want. Can you hear me okay? Uh oh, did I did I lose did I did I lose your voice? Oh oh let me see if I uh uh lost uh my voice here because I don't think she can hear me. Uh let me see. I'm I'm trying to work. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Oh, I okay. Like, oh my gosh, I lost him. <laughs> I've been, oh my, and I've been sitting here talking and talking and talking. I'm oh, like, what? No. What has happened? Oh, so, oh my, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. That was my fault, ladies and gentlemen. Let me slide her back over in the screen because I don't want you all be looking all at me. Okay. Now, <laughs> if I were to place you in what I call my megatorium, okay, my megatorium is going to consist of the T.D. Jakes Potter's House and the Joel Osteen Auditorium put together. Mm -hmm. My megatorium has 50,000 seats in it. My megatorium has 50,000 seats in it occupied by young ladies. I had the honor of introducing you to the podium. My question to you would be, what would you say to them? I would say to them, where are you in your life? Do you know who you are? Hmm. And if you don't know, let me tell you. Wow. Let me tell you what it's like to be a woman and not know who you are. Let me tell you who you need to seek after to find out who you are. But we have no identity unless we know the Lord, Christ Jesus, or he is the one who gives us our identity. Yeah. And when he does, you take that identity and you use it to show other people how to find their identity. Because we're not in this life to just be all about us and be selfish, but we're in this life to pull other people to a place where they can find purpose and position and what their posture is supposed to be while they're here on earth. See, this is about finding God. Mm. This is about being in pursuit of the one who knows the number of hairs on our head and the one who can count the grains of sand. I'm telling you, he is so intelligent yeah. and he yeah. is so wise and he is such the masterpiece. And because he is all of that, we are all of that. That's right. And so I would just encourage them to seek after God until they find themselves in God. Wow. That is the only way that we're ever going to know who we are. That's the only way that we're ever going to be able to pour out is if we allow God to show us what he has poured in. Hmm. Wow. Well, I know you've spent time encouraging others and you have just yes. encouraged, yes. encouraged 50,000 uh, people in my megatorium. And I'm, man, oh my goodness. <laughs> Now, you know, we're going to have to invite you back during one of our ministry uh, programs and have you bring a word, a uh, word that God places in your spirit. Uh, I would love good. to do that. Oh, you, well, you, when. you might as well consider it done. It's all, it's all, I'm, I'm placing it on the schedule. Now, Amen. I know there's going to be a lot of people out there. I know you got a brand new, uh, a brand new uh, project getting prepared to come out soon. You want to expound a little bit on that? I do. Let me tell you, um, it's been a while since I recorded. I've always continued to do ministry. Um, but my thing was this, God, I don't want to just put music out for the sake of putting music out. Mm. This next song, Lord, it has to encourage the masses in a way that it would cause people to turn to you. Mm -hmm. Now, I know everybody, everybody has a desire, right, for their music to... Uh, reach the masses and cause people to turn towards God. 
Mm. And my thing was, it has to be the right melody, though. It has to be the right production. Mm. Um, the skill that goes along with it. I want it to be a word, God, uh, because you've given me this prophetic anointing that is to reveal the heart of God to people. So it's got to be the right prophecy. Lord, it's got to be the right you know, tone, the right lyrics. I mean, I was just looking for God to give me this masterpiece of a song. And so one day I was at church and I was singing prophetically and just this wonderful melody just dropped on me. And we were singing it over and over in the sanctuary and people were being blessed and healed and lives were being changed. And I had happened to record it that day. I came home and I, I listened and I said, Lord, help me to build a song from this one liner that you gave me at church. Yes. And yeah. so that's what he did. He helped me to build a whole song. Um, I won't sing it, but I'll give you the <laughs> title. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. The title of my new single that's coming out is going to be called Great God. And I think in the time that we're living in, more now than ever, that rings louder than we've ever heard it before. Is that he is a great God, yeah. indeed, and he's seeing us through. It's not a matter of he's going to see us through. He's seeing us through. Yeah, yeah. Tough times. He's seeing us through loss. He's seeing us through defeat and despair, and he's seeing us through times that we that I've not seen in my lifetime. I've not seen it in the in the forty six years that I've been here. Right. Wow. And so I'm, I I believe that this word that's going to come through this song is going to cause people to get up and praise them. They're going to clap their hands. They're going to they're going to be I think this is the song that's going to be heard around the world. You know, in history, we learned about the shot that was heard around the world. Mm -hmm. I believe that this is the song that's going to be heard around the world and people are going to be encouraged and they're going to know by the time they hear the end of this song that God is great. Hey Amen. Now, what's the anticipated release date for your new project? Do you have, do you know yet? I can't give an actual date, but I will say by the end of January. Okay. I'm looking forward to, we are in the mixing and mastering phase right now. And I'm very, very excited um, just about uh, all of it. I mean, my producer, Joey Oscar, he's uh, in Atlanta. And um, I'm telling you, he's a musical genius, and he's brought together a crew of musicians that, you know, when he was sending me music, listen to this, tell me what you think of this, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, oh my God. He exceeded my expectations on this, and both he and I agreed that, you know what, this is, this is the best music we've ever put together, because we've been working together uh, musically for many, many years. Mm. And so we both believe, you know, this right here, <laughs> this right here is the best that we've ever done so I'm always teasing him I say are you tooting your own horn he's like are you tooting yours I'm like <laughs> oh, wow you know I'm you know what it's just amazing you know what people are, are are really they're very interesting because you never really know what God is calling people to do as he allows others to cross your pathway of life People have their journeys, and we're all uniquely designed and made to to carry those journeys out, to do what God has called us to do. And, and when he puts particular people in your path, and they get in their lane, they stay in their lane, and do what they're supposed to do, everything seems to work out accordingly. Now, I know for a fact that when the previous songs were recorded, mm -hmm. you had the right people in the right places they were in their lane quote unquote mm -hmm. who were some of the people that you had the honor of working with during this uh during these past 30 years that helped you get to where you are today oh wow i could go all the way back to the beginning my high school choir teacher mm. oh joan hubert an amazing woman poured into me poured into me my piano teacher jackie Steele poured into me, poured into me, and she is some kind of singer. Do you hear me? <laughs> and she would sing, and I would be like, oh, my gosh, like, how do you do that? But just um, looking at her as a great example, I'm like, you know what? 
I believe God, you know, can use me, you know, to sing, uh, like not not so much as like her, because I knew God had given me my own voice, but mm-hmm. the, it was the passion. It was the anointing that she had when she sang. Even my choir teacher, she was very active in the operatic community. Um, even Bernadine Oliphant at Texas Southern University, you know, she was my, um, my um, I was her protege, shall I say, uh, at one time when I was studying music early on in college. And so, oh my gosh, she poured into me and, and taught and trained me. Um, I have shared the stage, you know, with uh, a lot of beautiful, wonderful people uh, in the industry. Um, I've done a worship project many years ago uh, with uh, Israel Houghton was on the project mm-hmm. and some other great, great leaders. Um, man, it's like, wow. Let's see. Um, I did Woman Thou Art Loosed one year when they came to Houston. Wow. Uh, I sang with a, a few other people. We did um, a special song for that event. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, work with Marcus Dawson, who actually is uh, T.D. Jake's personal organist. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm working with him with his entertainment entertainment company, um, you know, doing some studio work and things like that. Um, have a great relationship ship with him and his wife. They're beautiful people. Um, yeah, and just wonderful. He opened the door for some, some opportunities. Joe Pace in the Colorado Mass Choir. I did um, This Joy on one of their uh, earlier CDs uh, some years ago. And so that was awesome. Um, Wow. Hezekiah Walker, I actually wrote on, I co-wrote on uh, Jehovah Reigns, which was on one of his CDs. Um, I don't know how it ended up on his CD um, as unknown writers, but I was one of the writers on that song. (laughs) Ah, Wow. (laughs) Just want to drop that. but anyway, yeah, myself and a couple of other uh, people in the studio, and we wrote that song together, and uh, it ended up there. Praise the Lord! <laughs> you know, I, and, and, and this joy, I actually had the opportunity of doing this joy also at one time. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I, I remember that. Oh, my goodness. That, ooh, you have made my day with that one. <laughs> I can, oh, my goodness. So, now... As you continue to move forward, have you ever thought about things like movies or plays or anything along the Absolutely. Absolutely. I've done some local things uh, with plays and things here. Um, I, I talk to my daughter a lot. I have an 18-year-old daughter, and mm-hmm. uh, she's into fashion and beauty and, and all of those wonderful things. And I was telling her, you know, your mother loves the camera. Mm. I love the camera. <laughs> Can't so, be mad. Yeah. Love the ca- love on that camera. <laughs> Movies and things like that. That is something that I've always wanted to do. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Wow. Well, I tell you this. Uh, I I know that the future uh, holds that opportunity. I I won't say why I say that, but I know that it holds that opportunity to be so. To be so open-minded and willing to do what God has called you to do is the key. And if that's the direction that he guides you or he asks you to go, then I know that you'll be one of those that will go. Absolutely. You know, you know it, it, it can somehow turn into, or shall I say, it has somehow turned into a cliche. You know, people say, well, Lord, send me, I'll go. Mm-hmm, and it's like, mm-hmm. for me, it's not a cliche. Like, I really mean that. Lord, <laughs> right, right. wherever you send me, I want to be there. Because you know what? There are some destined people mm-hmm. that are there waiting on me to be obedient and show up. Right, right. Whether I'm supposed to give them a smile, a word, a hug with my mask on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is I'm supposed to be, that I have to arrive at that destined point to be there for those people. Right. And if I don't show up, somebody might commit suicide. That's right. If I don't show up, someone may miss the the window to their you know place and position 
and trying to figure out what they're supposed to do in God. So, yeah. you know, I just don't want to miss those opportunities. It's very important for me because I understand that all of this is so much greater than myself. Yeah. Wow. You know, it's, it, it's just about, God, what is it that you want me to do? When I leave this earth, I want people to say, that girl lived. Mm. Wow. She made every day count. Whatever it was that she was supposed to do, she did it without hesitation mm. because she knew why she was here. That's right. Legacy. I guess that That's word. It. Legacy. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Um, if, if, I know there's going to be quite a few people that's going to grab a hold of this conversation, and of course, again, I welcome you all. Uh, there is also a Streamyard um, software that we are currently broadcasting on as well. But for those that are chimed in through the GMAP broadcast network, GMAP1.com, we thank God for you. We thank God for Lenore. I know there's going to be quite a few of them. Uh, that are out there listening and watching right now, they're going to say, well, I'm loving the singles. How can I get them? I know she's coming out with something new. How can I get it? I need to show my support for this ministry. Oh, How could they awesome. go about receiving uh, copies of your music ministry? Awesome. So what I'm in the process uh, of doing right now, because I had to kind of revamp and do some rebranding things, is getting things back up on iTunes and Google Play and all of those digital outlets. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, they can go to SoundCloud and take a listen um, to the songs there. Um, definitely going to um, get all of those those ducks back in a row. Right. So I, yeah, I went through um, I went through um, a divorce after 20 years. Mm. The Lord has kept me, and so it it was one of those things where. Uh, I didn't allow it to knock me down. It's like, well, if you have to start over, you just, you know, mm. you, you keep your eyes lifted to the heels, knowing that that's where your help comes from. And then God gives you a new strategy. Right. And so I'm in that new strategy right now where I'm transitioning to uh, bigger, better, and best. Mm. Ah, bigger, better, and best. Woo! There goes something else I can take from you. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to steal it. I'm going to take it. <laughs> and just use it, my goodness. Now, also, uh, I know there uh, it's going to be plenty of people that may, in fact, want to uh, reach out to you on a personal mm -hmm. level more intimately and, and maybe uh, talk with you, uh, find out how you uh, were able to take advantage of your journey. Mm -hmm. They may want to pray with you, pray for you, or have you pray for them. How can they connect with you? Is there a website, email, social media site, manager? How can they connect with Lenora Hightower? Well, that is all absolutely possible. You can reach out to me at lenorahightower.org. That's my website. Again, that's lenorahightower.org. Also, I can give out this phone number, 832-282-6369. If there is no answer, please, please, this is very important. Leave me a text message, and I will get back with you as soon as humanly possible. That's 832-282-6369. If you're on Facebook, please connect with me there. I'm there under Lenora Hightower. Send me a friend request. Inbox me in Messenger. Send me a message, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Praise God for you. I mean, I'm just, I mean, I'm just excited to have you. I'm grateful. Uh, there they go texting me. Outstanding. I can't wait to hear the songs that's coming from one of the radio stations. Um, so, I mean, I'm just so grateful that you have taken time out of your busy schedule on today to just join us here again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Lenora is a part of the GMAP Broadcast Network Featured Music Ministries area. All you have to do is stop by GMAP1.com. Visit our Music Ministries page. You will see the cover that's currently on the screen on the GMAP Broadcast Network screen. You will see that in that area. Click on it. It will take you to the necessary location in order to get more intimate information about this awesome woman of God, about her ministry, how to connect with her, 
all that good stuff. And I kid you not, I'm just I, I'm just excited. I'm excited because there's just so much happening. Before we let you go, I would like to move out of the way and allow you to have your final thoughts and um, share your last words with our viewers and listeners around the world. I want to leave by saying this tonight. Um, the Lord has also afforded me the opportunity to begin my own worship broadcast. Um, it's going to be on all digital TV, um, TV platforms, and it's going to be called Morning Rain, R-E-I-G-N. And on that, we're going to be prophetically singing. We're going to be revealing the heart of God and encouraging people to make worship a part of their daily lifestyle. Wow. That will be coming in the next, rolling out in the next week or two. We're going to start shooting uh on saturday really and so yes so i'm looking forward to that i'm very excited about what god is doing with that wow 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 he's blowing my mind now you know <laughs> i also want to say to the listeners tonight listen god is still god hmm. that's right if i don't say anything else i want everybody to know that god is still god I don't care what's going on. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care about the pressure that you're under right now. I can tell you this. He has never left me. He has never forsaken me. And he has never left me desolate and never left me for dead. But what he has done is restored, resurrected, and renewed my very life. And if he did it for Lenora Hightower, I promise you... Mm. You got my promise on it that he will also do the same thing for you. I need to tell somebody tonight that it's not going to always be this way. Oh. That God is surely the remedy for your situation. So I want you to stay encouraged and keep on, keep on believing. I was telling somebody today, just tie a knot in that rope and hold on. Yeah. Because the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord has our best interest in his heart. And he's going to be sure that his interest trumps every other interest that comes up in our lives. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be blessing our viewers and listeners tonight uh, with the two singles in just a few moments. Uh, praises and action words. You know you're going to be hearing that. And of course, holy. Now, I'm going to rewind the tape and go back to your television program before I let you go. Okay. Your television program is going to be released when? Okay, so we're going to we're going to start taping on Saturday. So they're anticipating to start rolling things out on Monday. It's going to be on the King Cast TV network. Hmm. And it's off and now it, it, you do realize that it's also going to be on the GMAP broadcast network now. You, Hallelujah! You, you, you do know that, right? Because, you know, I, I'm sitting here saying to myself, now, wait a minute. Hallelujah! So I, we have something to talk about when we hang up. Hallelujah! Because if God is my witness, I refuse to allow you to have a television program that does not get aired on the GMAP broadcast network. God to God be the glory. Listen, I ladies and gentlemen, it is, I mean, when I do conversations, you can tell I do conversations. I don't do interviews. I like to just have fun. I like to talk. I like to chat. Uh, I just enjoy what it is that God is allowing to take place in me in this ministry. We thank God for you, Lenore. I mean, I kid you not. I'm grateful that you have taken time out today. I'm going to bless the people shortly with a, um, a double dose of your songs. I'm going to give them not one but two. But before I let you go, let me do this. Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. our Father, our God, we come to you once again, first and foremost, as we always should, to simply say thank you. We thank you, O oh God, for this opportunity. We thank you for this divine connection. We thank you for this awesome woman of God. We thank you, Father God, for just connecting us and allowing us to do your will. 
Continue to bless us, O oh God, according to your will and not ours. Bless everyone that is connected to her. Blessing individually and collectively in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to guide us, O oh God, down that pathway of salvation and righteousness so that we will be ready, willing, and able to stand firm by faith to do your will, to do your works, and to do it your way. Father God, continue to give us the strength we need to overcome any trial, any setback, any downfall, any doubt, any fear, anger, animosity. Move it right now so that we can continue to stand firm and say we have the victory. Yes. Bless, heal, and deliver. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. We worship you. We magnify your name tonight, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, we simply want to say thank you. We thank and we praise you on this day. We praise and we thank you in the name of the Father, the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Sit tight. I'm going to go ahead and bless the people. And I will be back right after this. Right here on the number one faith-based, motivational, and inspirational broadcast platform in the country. GMAP Broadcast Network located at GMAP1.com.
望你。And the worship is required from your people.